What is it? What's wrong? Is it the donor? Is something going wrong? Then what? What? Where's Frisco? He went to find Tony to tell him that there's a heart for Maxie. Oh, my God. Alicia. Alicia, what is it? I found out who Maxie's donor is. It's Barbara Jean. <laughs> Tony, don't even ask, please. And don't try to stop me, because there's no way I'm not going to be in the OR when you take BJ's heart. Tony, being in OR during surgery is against hospital regulations. Not to mention common sense. Why? I'm a doctor. I know what to expect. I'm the patient's father. What makes more sense? It's because you're the patient's father. I can't allow it. Monica, I have to be in there. It would be too hard on everyone. Don't put yourself through any more, I didn't ask to be put through this much, but here I am. I can't run away. I owe it to BJ and to myself to be in there with her. I understand that. And I sympathize with you, but I have a surgical team, I have assistants I have to think about. And how difficult it is going to be for them if you are in that room. They have to focus on Maxie. And make sure that BJ's heart is received successfully. Don't, please, don't do anything to jeopardize that. I'll wear a mask. They won't know it's me. Tony. They'll know. Professional. Tell them to concentrate and do their job. They're all so human, and I want them to do the best job they can. Please, please let them. I think your daughter is giving another little girl the gift of life. I think that is the most profound gift anyone could give. You wouldn't want anything to distract from that mission, now would you? this we got a heart for maxie there was a child that was in an accident and she was just brought into er and one of the most amazing part is that they've they've tested her and the type matches the blood matches the tissue matches that we're prepping her for a transplant right now we got our miracle yes she did i know i mean i can't stop thinking about those parents of the, of the child I'm gonna go back up to ICU. I want to be with Felicia right still now. Still wait. It's uh. What is it? Tony. Um. The the heart for Maxie is BJ's. The school van crashed and overturned, and BJ was pinned. And she had massive head trauma, and, and they uh, put her on a ventilator when they brought her into ER, but she was essentially brain dead when she got there, and uh, there's not any chance. So uh, when, uh, when I found out that Maxie carried the small B factor, I had had myself and, and BJ tested, and, and it's lucky that I did because BJ carried the small factor so she's the same as Maxie and I told Monica to go ahead so
might tell him that Barbara Jean had come to the hospital. She was already too far gone. So, and Tony gave them permission to visit Mark. Oh, Mac, I prayed for a miracle. <laughs> I prayed for a miracle, but nothing like this. Not Barbara Jean, not our little baby Barbara Jean. <laughs> You want to help me? Oh, yes, right. Okay, honey. Okay? Yeah. Okay. 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 But now it's time to make you all better. Aunt Amy's here, and she's going to take you to school for a little ride to see Dr. Monica. Yeah. She's been waiting to see you. Yes, your heart's been working very, very hard. And that's why it's tired. And that's why you don't feel very good. So guess what? Dr. Monica, she's going to fix it. She's going to make you all better. I do like that. But when you wake up, Listen to me, when you wake up, you're not going to feel very good. But then you're going to get all well. Are you ready to go for a little ride now? Okay? Okay, come on. Here we go. Let's get on the bed. We're going to put you right up here in the middle, okay? Oh, boy. Okay. Check on Tony. Yeah. Bring him back here if he wants to wait. Uh, Bobby, too. Why does everything have to be so hard? <laughs> 